my dear sisters and brothers in Christ. World Mission Sunday. It is an occasion for us to think about our God-given mission of preaching the gospel. We also try to participate in the various missionary activities of the church with our prayers and financial support. Let us look at this Mission Sunday from the life of Prophet Isaiah. When God asks the question, Whom shall I send? Isaiah responds, Here am I, send me. Let us be reminded of the present coronavirus situation. Illness, suffering, fear, and isolation challenge us. The poverty of those who die alone, the abandoned, those who have lost their jobs and income, the homeless, and those who lack food, challenge us. In all of this, God's question, Whom shall I send? is addressed once more to us, and we have to respond, Here am I, send me. The reason for the existence of the church is to preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. The Second Vatican Council says that the church on earth, by its very nature, is missionary. All those who have received baptism have the vocation to actively participate in this responsibility. Pope John Paul II says, Since salvation is offered to all, it must be made concretely available to all. Those who haven't heard or experienced the love of Christ have the right to hear it, and we should be bearers of that good news. We have met Jesus in our life and have a personal relationship with him. All those people who had no chance of this privilege also have the right to encounter Jesus in their lives. Unless we share our faith, how can they hear and experience him? So, we should share the joy of Christian life with our own family members, friends, and all those whom we meet on various occasions of our life. Today's Gospel speaks about Jesus curing the blind Bartimaeus in Jericho on his way to Jerusalem. He was physically blind, but had the inner sight to see Jesus as the son of David. Many who followed Jesus were able to see him physically but unable to see who Jesus really was. Bartimaeus' spiritual insight helped him to receive physical sight. Because of his faith, he was able to see beyond others and get what he wanted. He was able to see Jesus through his faith first and then with his eyes. Many people are waiting to see Jesus in today's world and have no opportunity and we should help them with our missionary activities. The flame of faith alive in each one of us must help those who still walk in the valley of darkness. Recently, I came across a simple story on the need to hand over the light of faith to others which we have received from our forefathers. An old man was planting some small fruit trees in his land. His friends asked him whether he would be able to enjoy the fruits of those trees. They wanted him to take rest at this old age as they were doing. He replied, that he would not be here to see them producing fruits, but his children 
or grandchildren will enjoy the fruits. He continued his reasoning. When I came into this world, it was filled with fruits and vegetables which I enjoyed. Now, I plant these fruit trees for those who will come after me, just as I have benefited from the labors of those who have gone ahead of me. This old man's words may sound simple, but they are profound. Our faith and mission are similar to planting fruit trees. Planting the seeds of faith is not the work of a few chosen people. The old man planted the trees to keep the earth fruitful and convenient for his children to live. We should plant the faith in the hearts and minds of many people in order for the salvation of God to reach everyone. Dear brothers and sisters, Mission Sunday is not just a call on doing something in a distant land. Many of us may not have a vocation to preach the gospel in a foreign land. But we all have a responsibility in living and preaching the gospel in our own life situation. We need to work together in revitalizing our faith life and Christian traditions. Everyone in our communities has the right to experience the love of God. Our communities should grow to a level where we can help people in different parts of the world. Our lives are not just meant for ourselves. We find the meaning and purpose of our lives when we are able to share our talents and blessings with others. God will bless us more when we become a blessing to all those who are around us. Let us try to reflect the image of God imprinted on us by engaging in activities pleasing to God. Let me conclude the homily with the words of Pope Francis. We are all invited to walk the streets of the world with our brothers and sisters, proclaiming and witnessing to our faith in Christ and making ourselves heralds of his gospel. <music>